serendipity. There I was sitting at my desk two weeks ago wondering how can I make Karingo a better place? Well, let's hope I was thinking that. And I get a phone call from Channel 7. Can Karingai Council find a suitable community garden site in two weeks? It needs full sun, it needs a tap, it needs to be a small area and it needs a community group. Sure, and while I'm at it, why not invent the transmat beam? One of the really good things about getting Channel 7 to build a community garden is we get a quality product. Now if you look around, to be honest I was a little surprised, I thought it was all going to be smoke and mirrors, but this fence is just really, really good. And look at these raised garden beds, these, these are very expensive. If we were to buy it, this one over here, that's $300. So we're talking about a serious investment just in sort of terms of hardware. Now if you think that this is going to be $300, that's going to be a lot more. And we also have a seat over there. Now, so it's not just going to be about planting and growing fruit and vegetables, it's also going to be for education and learning how to do things. It's a fantastic little resource. Thank you very much, Channel 7. Well, every community garden, it has to have a compost bin. And sure enough, look what we've got, our own compost bin. But this one's a very clever one. It's actually using recycled materials. These are old pallets. And I think that sort of sums up the ethos and the very meaning of a community garden, like recycled materials. You can actually use something that's just lying around and going to be thrown out otherwise. Don't get new stuff for the sake of getting new stuff. And these pallets will do a perfectly fine job. And it would be a really good way to set up a compost bin in your own garden. Getting a free community garden has a lot of benefits and one of the benefits is the plants you get. Look at me, I'm surrounded by a forest of artichokes. We have a whole range of plants for the community garden. In front of me we've got silver beet. Silver beet is one of those really fantastic vegetables that supply a huge amount of iron. We've also got some strawberries over here. A lot of lettuce. We've even got a chilli bush, so look out. This cultivar is known as the ring of fire. We've got all the usual suspects, the lettuces, the silver beets, all of that sort of thing. But we've also got something a little bit unusual in a lemon scented myrtle. This is a native tree and its leaves are fantastic to make tea. One of the advantages of a site like this is there's going to be a lot of community interest because it's right where people shop and right where people walk to their cars. We've already been approached by a lot of local residents who are very interested in this garden and want to participate. That's EnviroTube for this month. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think it's a really, really interesting project. Channel 7 has created this community garden from nothing and created a fantastic community asset. I think it's going to last for a long time and I think it's going to be of real value to the West Pimble community.